Hey there, fellow Factorians. Owner is here with another episode of our Factorio Back to Basics uh, vanilla run. We're in the desert. We we didn't preview, and but things are things are actually looking pretty good. We last episode we uh, cleared out. We cleared out all the biters, and we did a lot of scouting. We got some nice little bits and bobs around. But the the main thing we want to get to is up here, and uh, presumably there's going to be more than 16k there. It's it'll be something like this, sort of five mil. I think we've got 10 mil. Yeah, there's a bigger one over there. But we want to get up here because if we can set up some train up to here, we can also get access to the oil. Uh, it doesn't mean we will have to clear that as well. But you know these these are the things, and we've got some clear kind of defensive areas. Anyway, that's that that's what we want to do in the future. Right now we need to prepare for that. For that expansion, as you can see, we are struggling big time with copper, and that's just because copper's kind of doing nothing. Uh, we set up, we set up some things, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, we definitely do not want that to go too big. Let's make sure, make sure we have some lights around here. It's some dark sections, some dark sections, but we're trying to, we're trying to keep it light. All right, let's have a look. Let's just. Make this not maybe that big because before we even do that, let's see how much we can get away with on our copper mine because our, our, co our copper patch, really quite small, really quite small. Let's so we'll have a quick look. Yeah, so they are kind of funneling in there. All right. uh, we don't have any turrets, so let's move these existing ones. Oh, God, I hate the trees. Uh, we have grenades, though, don't we? I'm sure, I'm sure we got some grenades. Oh, we grenades okay uh where am i where am i i gotta make sure i don't grenade myself there i am okay let's clear a bit of an area oh we haven't got the upgrades all right we definitely need the uh, explosive upgrades which lets you kill the trees with one hit all right there we go that should we'll, uh, we'll farm this one there we go that should give us a reasonable little clear patch where we can just basically i just want to be able to see what's going on there and let's do this and let's double that one because you know we've well i'm not i'm really not worried about them at the moment but uh in the near future we'll um we'll we'll need to be worried about them there we go okay uh speaking of stuff that we need to be worried about our research is finished and i was just saying i was just saying that would be nice certainly would be nice but it's probably not a high priority uh we did get we did get a few things. I definitely want to get to modules in, in the long term. Uh, all these things are fairly far away. Uh, chemical science, we probably want to... Oh, actually, hang on. We, we'll, we'll need some gates for our train system when we fence off that area. So let's let's have a bit of a look. I definitely want to do flammables because I want to get to a flamethrower turret. Uh, does that unlock the turret? It does, doesn't it? Flamethrower turret, yeah. So this will be our, our main defense. Our main defense once we get access to oil. Uh, I think we've got everything we need in so far as actual oil requirements. Uh, fluid handling. We haven't got the fluid wagon. We'll need that one too. And uh, let's just let that research do its do its thing, and then let's focus back on on our uh, on our life here. I'm thinking our power system is probably going to struggle too if we are going to be upgrading. Oh, I just saw some flashing some flashing ammo over here. Uh, this whole area is quite quite low on ammo. Let's see what we can do here, and let's get you down to down there, down there, and you know, something like that. Probably you probably don't have much ammo, but you're fine. You're fine. All right. Now let's uh, quick check of our power. Yeah, we are going to have to upgrade that as well. So I should probably be doing some handcrafting on that. Uh, how much is in this row? That is twelve. Yeah, we're not going to get, we're not going to get too much more out of that. Nine hundred. That's probably not worth it. Uh, that's not balanced though. So what I'll do is, I'll just do something a little bit funny here, and that'll be balanced. And there, and there. All right. And then we'll put a uh, these other ones that we have. That tree is that going to be enough? That's only that's three k. That's fine. Error. Yeah, right. Okay. Get rid of you. Bring you over to here and bring you in. Okay. Let's get the power requirements. Oops. Got to make sure they line up. 
That is of high import. Uh, why have we why have we got a weird lineup here? Anyway, that'll uh, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. What we've got coal here. We have coal here. Did you see that? Maybe I'm guessing. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. That is coal that was on the ground. That is coal is on the ground. It's actually not too bad because where it's going, we'll use coal. And if it, if it gets to coal on the belt, it should uh, it should pick up the coal to feed the smelters. All right. While I think about it, before I forget, because I will definitely forget, let's do four of them and eight of them. And now let's just we don't have a full we don't have a full. Uh, Oh man, we need some stone as well. We do not have enough for a full belt of of that junction. But let's grab some of that and make a bunch of those. Uh, but we'll we'll put it in now. We'll put in as much as we can, and then we'll uh, allow for when we start sort of shipping some stuff in. And I, I'm still I'm still not sure how we're going to do that. I think oh, I should be using medium power poles too. Anyway, we'll. We'll uh, we'll set some stuff up, and how much? Yeah, that's that's also what I thought. All right, let's quick check. We need some more undergrounds. We'll probably grab some more belts while we're down here. Uh, we will grab all a hundred of those. We're going to use most of them, and that's a thousand ammo, which is actually interesting. And uh, there's twelve turrets, twenty six miners. All right, let's not get caught up on this. Let's grab. Now we're okay for those. Let's grab. Pro probably should just grab all of them and half of them. And we're still going okay for lights, yeah. Here we are. All right, let's get this. Let's just get this set up, and then we'll think about uh, something like power poles and uh, the meat, the medium power poles. I really struggle. I really struggle to narrate while I'm doing the difficult task of placement of these guys. There we go. Now we can get them up here. And not, I say difficult, it's not particularly difficult, but it seems to take a lot of my brain power to draw these little uh, little circles with the inserters. As you can see while I'm talking, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't look as nice. Okay, we've got 38 power poles, that's fine. We should be able to just run these across here, and they should auto-fill. And then we can line these ones up with the other ones. Beautiful. Last but not least. All right. Uh, now we'll go back up and we'll extend our copper again. We'll extend our copper. Good to see our stone bricks are just massively backed up. We did do. Ooh, I didn't even put a belt there. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get. We'll get around to it one day. How much does this last one get? Oh, yeah, two k. Two k. That's all right. Get out of the way, tree. Get out of the way. Their days are certainly numbered. And get you up here and get some power poles, some power poles. Away we go. Okay. So now we have, now we have, uh, we actually have 30 miners on there. That is a full belt. That is a full belt of copper, which will be a full belt of copper plate. Do we even have a full belt of iron? I don't think we do, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. We've got 32. Uh, we should, we, I mean, we really should do something because we're using steel now and we are feeding this belt of iron into our steel so we should upgrade that but what we really should do more importantly is is think about what we need to do up here so what we're going to need is we're going to need a train we're going to need lots of train tracks now we did set up i seem to recall i seem to recall we set up some train production in the past let's just pop a few more of these down light our way as we come down here And I am correct. Here we go. Here's our train setup down here. We have we have 500 belts, uh, 500 tracks. That's not enough. Let's let's ramp that up. Uh, yeah, this situation here is a problem in that we're only really getting the benefit of, the, of one of these working. So anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, so. We will need to build a train, 
we will need to build a train. And to do that, we are going to need the engine units. Now, we do have engine units somewhere. I think I was standing right next to them, wasn't it? How many have we got here? We've got 50 engine units, which is certainly enough for two locomotives. Um, my, my immediate plan is uh, just one four train, so one locomotive to four carriages. Uh, it's a good ratio of... A uh, good ratio of kind of acceleration to throughput. Uh, you then can go up to sort of two two locomotives and eight carriages gets a bit bigger. Your, se your intersections get a bit more difficult. So I like I like the one four. I think it's a it's a nice it's a nice kind of intermediate. Uh, when it comes to oil tankers, though, from memory, and I really need to double check these things, but I'm pretty sure an oil tanker counts as two the weight of two cargo wagons. Uh, so we will have to take that into effect, meaning we'll have a one, two for our oil tankers. But they also carry a lot of oil, so we're okay for that. Um, all right, so, we, I mean, while I'm standing here, I might as well make two locomotives and one, two, three, four of them. And then we'll need two... Uh, to uh, fluid wagons when we get to that thing get to that juncture uh we also for our loading we really can't rely on on these guys anymore we need to upgrade to the fast inserters and to do that we just need iron and uh you okay yeah we can get rid of you all right to do that we just need iron and the other thing not iron iron and not iron and we'll do that, we'll do that, and that, and then you can make us some of these. Pop them in there, please. And from memory, six times four, we need like 40 for a station. Uh, we're going to need we're gonna need a lot, aren't we? We're probably going to need more than that. So let's do 100 of them, and we'll see. That should keep up, that should keep up while we're not grabbing from here. Uh, do I have circuitry available yet? I do. All right, let's let's get a little bit of wire because it's always good to say uh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's get a bit of wire. Let's put it on our mini toolbar here, and let's hook you up to there and just say if these are greater than fifty, so we'll always have at least fifty yellows available. It, it's it's kind of Thing, you just want to make sure because we don't get caught where we're trying to do an expansion and nothing's happening. All right. Uh, speaking of that, hmm. all right. We should probably get a few more radars. It would be my guess as well. Let me just uh, just to keep the scanning going a little bit faster. And of course, the radars are going to chew power, uh, which I totally forgot to install. So yeah, look, these things these things happening. But gosh, boy, do I feel so much less pressure now that we've cleared out those biters. We've got, we've got some headspace to kind of think about these things. Grab a few of them. All right. Uh, what do I have six of these? I'm sure I only made four. Did I? Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I believe at some point in the past, mistakes have been made where I did not produce, uh, where I've made some of these and then not put them in. And judging by the amount of steam engines that we have, wow, that's definitely the case, isn't it? All right. Uh, over to there, we'll need two, four, six of these guys. And let's get the piping in. Uh, why do I still have? So I've still got two of them. I might as well. I might as well build one more, uh, one more boiler. And then this is going to really annoy someone. There we go. And we put that in there and get these ones in here. Now I ran out of piping, of course, because the piping is used to make the boilers. No, not that far. Just there. Perfect. All right. Now let's get these guys fueled up. And oh uh, yeah, yeah, we need we need one more of them. We need one more of them. All right, so we can fit twenty boilers, can't we? And there's uh there's thirteen twenty off the one pump because these use uh, 60 a second of water, and this guy produces 1,200 a second. Yep, those numbers are still correct. Been like that for a long, long time. Not forever, but uh, but a long, long time nonetheless. All right, now our copper is looking great. And like I said, I really want to have this iron ramped up, so let's let's do that. So this is 32. That's, that's too, too many. That is too, too many uh, for a full belt. What is in the way? Uh, that is in the way. All right. 
And there, and there. Get you out of the way as well. So we can get that one in there. Yep, we can. Have you got any have you got any resources left? No, you do not. Uh, do you have any resources left? No, you do not. Do you have any? No, you do not. Okay, well that's that is quite interesting then. That really changes the the numbers that we're looking at. So now we have now we have 32 here. Uh, but I really want to max out this max this one out. So let's just keep putting them in here and then we'll do some balancing, do some balancing afterwards. No, nope, don't rotate you, please. Uh, 1k. Yeah, we might we might as well mine it. We might as well mine it. Okay. Uh, with these guys running now, uh, we have an imbalance here of four on that side, but we also have a decent amount that we can put here to mine out that section, and then we can feed that onto the inside. Uh, so now this is a balance set of 22, meaning that we only need eight more for a full set. And here we go: two, four, six, eight, and then we cut this off here. Cut this off here, and we bring these ones out the back. And then what we'll do is we'll put in another another run uh, up here. We've only got four left though, of course, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see if we've made any more while we've been working on this. It should be coming through pretty fast. I think we had we had eight at the start, and then we got another twenty. So yeah, there we go. We actually got a full stack of them. And we are going to need we are going to need them for the expansion, and we actually are going to need more more defenses. Is kind of my my concern as well. But you know these these things we just got to face as we get there. All right, one uh, k. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. Yeah, that's yeah yeah we'll we'll do it. All right, and then over here we can get eke out a few more. Uh, there's some coal. All right. So we actually we actually got quite a few here because uh, we've got to remember this has this has thirteen. And 13 plus 15 is 28. Uh, so this is almost, almost a full, almost a fully. Uh, we could make it pretty full. Something like that is actually going to mine out most of, most of the map. All right, most of, when I say the map, uh, I mean most of this patch. All right, and this is it now. Not, not going to line up with this one. This is a second, a second run. Uh, so let's do the numbers again. So we've got. 13 plus 17, that's perfect, that's 30, but they're not balanced. So on this outer side, on this outer side, we have 7, uh, we have 12, and then on this side, we have 8, whoops, 8 plus 16, uh, that's 14. Oops. So we need one more on. Oh gosh, get it, get away. We need one more on the inside, and the rest go on the outside. So the outside's easy because we can just do that. Uh, but to get this one on the inside to really get a full balance, I mean, I'm committed. I'm committed. I like I like getting a get it nice and balanced. Uh, let's just do this and sneak it in. Sneak it in there like that. All right. Yeah, look, it looks it looks interesting. It looks interesting, but I'm down with it. Uh, hook that up. Get you guys mining, and that means also that we uh, we need to get another iron. We need to get another iron smelting column. Uh, that is the wrong. No, 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 no. That is the wrong height. There we go. Because uh, we can't turn and then jump over that copper. Which is not the end of the world, but you know, I like I like to make myself I like to make my life easier. How many? Uh, we've only got 22 stone furnaces. Let's fix that, shall we? And while I'm here, let's fix that because that bugged me when I saw it before. I'm sure it bugged someone else. All right, another 43 of them. Uh, let's not do that first. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. There we go, and then up here, like so. Probably should be, at some point we should be using a, uh, a blueprint for this, but uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm just going to do that because I'm lazy. And then you, unfortunately, like that. Yeah. Oh, it's just one more extra bit of belt that we didn't need to use. And you are just way out, aren't you? You guys are way out. All right, let's uh, let's see the problem that we are now going to have, which is which is this. This actually is. It seems like a problem, uh, and it sure is. But it's not as it's not as big a problem as you think. Because I just want to use this area for steel. 
I just want to use this area for steel. So if we can get a half a half one in here, uh, is that actually the right distance? It is cool. So if we can get 12 going here, two, four, five, six, and then another six here. Yep, okay, that's perfect. And then we can do, um, mm, nah, this is, this is no good, this is no good. Oh, I changed my mind. I mean, I was like, we could, we could just, we could just kind of wing it. But who likes, who likes to wing it? Let's rip it all up, rip it all up, and let's let's do it properly, shall we? Okay, but remember, thing to remember is this is actually the height we want. Uh, so that's that's ideal. All right, something like that. Let's line this one up here, and then there. Okay, it goes there. That goes there. And one more. All right, research. Research is coming. We're doing too much research. All right, let's get some of these things that we are going to need for blue science. Not not because I really think we need it right now, but might as well have our science doing something. All right. So what do we got here? Ten, twelve. Oh gosh. I I really hate it when that happens because it throws me right off. All right. All right. So this this is where we do our little our little trickery here, and we say on the output priority to the right. Sorry, not input priority. No, thank you. Output priority. We want to have our coal, just coal, just coal, please. Let's copy that one here, but then change it to the left. All right, and now that can continue on. And here we have our iron come out like that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make iron plates here. And then uh, that's... Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, guys, hang on. I'm seeing a problem, I'm seeing a problem. Because uh, the iron... The, the, Got to remember the... Um, the, what am I saying? The coal is on the inside here, and that's going to have both things on the inside, isn't it? That's not right. That's not right. So, instead, let's do this and this. It's, it's using a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of these guys, but that'll that'll work. So now we'll have the iron on the outside, and then it'll merge together like that. Yeah, look, it works. I can, honestly, I don't remember if that's the way I used to do it, but here we are. Let's let's just set it up and let, let's see what happens. And again, I'm I'm running out of uh, running out of these guys. That's all right. Run you across here. Uh, yeah, well, we don't have the uh, we don't have the inserters there to actually set that up. So let's go run down, grab some inserters. We need a lot more inserters. Luckily, we will have the at least 50 available and because this is maxed out i know we got 100 so that's pretty good we're plowing through it keep keep checking our pollution's not growing too badly not growing too badly always remember though like time does mean evolution so the longer you the longer you spend doing these things uh the more powerful the biters get all right now this can we probably could have kept it like that but i'm just going to change that a wee bit There we go. All right. Beautiful. Okay, you're in. You're in. Coals on the inside. Coals on the inside. Coals on the inside. Iron plates on the outside. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And then we can set you up with some of these. Uh, that's... Why is it always 10? I'm living in the decimal system, that's why. Okay, sadly, uh, that's going to have to change for now. And this is going to be steel coming in. And all right, let's just quickly... I just want to make sure that we don't have our power problems over there. Wow. Wow. And uh, did not take that into account. There we go. Uh, so that one's going to go there, isn't it? No, that's, that's not right. That one and... Yeah, that one goes there. 
uh, which means that one will go there and we'll have one there. Okay, and then and that keeps our power up to our mining because if I, you know, if that if that disappeared, we would not be getting any copper. All right, so let's have a look. We've got now steel happening, which is nice. We'll bring that onto the belt shortly. Let's just make sure we have everything over here set up. And get these guys, the last ones here in. So there's our half a belt of iron, which ends up to uh, well, much less than half a belt of steel. But for now, for now, this will be enough. Once we get our outposts going, we'll figure out what we're going to do with um, with our smelting kind of arrays at that point. And I'm thinking we'll decentralize the smelting. Uh, you know, it's, it's what I like to do sometimes, just for a little bit different things. Normally, I would say normally I'm more along the path of... Why did that not hook up? I don't know. Uh, we've, something's wrong here, isn't it? Then the, why did that one not connect? Probably something to do with this pole interfering with how it looks and the way I put them in first, rather than anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we need to kind of woo. Hey, how am I like forgetting about all these things? Uh, let's give you a bit of that. You can have a bit more. We'll take a little bit off you and give it to you. Yeah, look, that, that, that should be enough to keep you guys happy. Uh, but this is all the stuff probably while we were while we we're out expanding, uh, while we we're out clearing the the biter bases. Uh, these are the kind of things that happen that we're just like, I don't care about the home. We just need to clear it out. And it's definitely the right option clearing out because, as you can see, we're now in a very peaceful time of existence where we can, uh, where we can build, where we can build. All right. So this will now go and be used instead of the old, the old uh, steel production that we have here. Uh, now where does it actually come onto the bus? Oh, that's actually that one there. All right. We can just go here and do that. And this will be our steel now, and we can uh, we can stop this. So I'm just going to stop that. Stop that for now. Let's make sure that um, we use up everything that comes here. So we'll have an input priority on the right. Uh, so everything that comes through here will get used up first, and yeah, and then we'll then we'll clean that up. Look at that. Look at that steel flowing mightily. All right. I'm very happy with that kind of uh, little setup now we can do we can do what uh, let me grab some of that ammo while I'm here all right uh, let's get rid of these because because why why would we have them up there our science is backing up it was pointed out to me in the comments previously but I'm not too worried about science as I said we're, we're kind of we're researching plastics, not because we need to, just because might as well. Uh, I am going to grab those, so I've got a nice, decent stack of them if we go out exploring. And yeah, here we go. We've got a thousand rail. So we've got a thousand rail. Uh, we've got a bunch of a bunch of these guys. Yeah, we do. Okay, fast inserters. We need power poles. That's that is what I need. That's right. Okay. Let's set up some medium power pole production, uh, which is copper, steel, and iron. Copper, steel, and iron. All right. Uh, copper, steel, and iron. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, we can. We can do it here. We can do it here, can't we? Uh, except I don't really want to steal the copper from there. Hmm. All right. I think. Uh, I think the idea of red chips happening here is probably a pipe dream. So I'm just gonna copper, steel, and iron. Let's get. Let's get the copper in here. Uh, this is... Is this going to work? Is this going to work? It is going to work. Wow. That, we, got, we got very lucky there. All right. Uh, you need to do that. You'll need to do that. You'll need to do that. You'll need to do that. And then we can get the steel in here. And you jump over there. All right. There's our steel and copper. There's our steel and copper. Uh, how's our turret production going, by the way? It is woeful because of uh, the lack of... There you go. Let's help you out. Let's help you out. 
Uh, I just want to make sure that we have we have turrets for when we go out there. All right. Uh, but now, now we can put in here some production of, and I've totally forgot, I've totally spaced on what we're making, power poles, medium power poles. All right, copper, steel, and iron sticks. Uh, you, oh, we didn't actually place all of these, wow. All right, you can disappear. Let's get you making some iron sticks here. You're making some iron sticks here, and we are at 30 minutes, so this is kind of, uh, kind of the end of what we're going to be able to get up to. Let's grab a few of them. Let's grab a few more of them because I need a few more of them. And there we go. All right, so you're doing that. Uh, we don't need to make these in like huge abundance. Let's do something like this. In fact, this doesn't need to even go any further. So that's a waste as well. There we go. Let's get a box here. Let's get you there. Uh, that's uh, a little bit sad. Let's power you up. Let's power you up. And what are we missing? Copper. Uh, yeah, look, it's it's not that we're missing copper. It's just it went for the steel first. Uh, I mean, we've got we've got fast inserters. Let's let's use the fast inserters. Just for those ones there. Everything else should be okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll get two stacks of that. And now, what do we need for a transmission pole? Uh, exactly the same things. Exactly the same things. Exactly the same things. So you know what. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We do need that. Um, this is really, really hacking this together now, but we'll uh, we'll make it we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work, and we'll make it work. You making transmission poles, and yeah, you, you've got everything you need. You've got everything you need. Let's let's grab some of them. All right, that's your copper and your steel and your iron. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm all right with that. Let's just make one stack of the transmission poles. All right, so that's what we need. We're, we're over time. We're going to finish up here, but let's just quickly recap to make sure we have everything we need. We've got power to get over there. We've got rails to get down there. What we don't have is a system for the rails, which we don't actually need just yet. Uh, we don't actually need just yet, but we will need very shortly, and that is, and that is our train signals. Uh, iron and... Look at that, all right. You, my friend, uh, you just you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because what I want to do is let's just let's just really quickly dodgy this up and hope we don't regret it, as I always do. Uh, there and there. All right. That that and that and that. Uh, you're going to make chain signals. You're going to make rail. Sorry, the other way around. Signals and chain signals. We're going to have a couple of these guys here doing that, 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 and that. All right. Uh, this is chain signals. We'll get one stack of those and two stack of rail signals. Uh, and then we've got rails. And then we also need a train stop. Uh, train stop is a little more involved. We can probably honestly uh, craft those ourselves if we had a bit of iron. Because uh, we don't need, you don't need, you don't need a whole heap of... Uh, we, we're actually uh, some of these ones at the back here. There we go. Give me that. Give me that iron. Uh, let's just craft two, three, three train stops because that's all we need. All right. And I'm also seeing. I'm also seeing. Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it. All right. Let's get rid of some of this junk that we have uh, in our inventory now. Wonderful. All right. That's that's everything's looking much neater now. And we are we are we are ready. We got we got rails. We got train signals. We got stations. We got locomotives. We don't have fluid wagons. We'll get them crafted. We've got power to get there. We've got walls to defend us. Walls to defend us. Turrets. Turrets to defend us. Turrets to defend us. Ammo to defend us. Uh, ammo to defend us. Ammo to defend us. Oh yeah, we got one k of that. Uh, I don't actually have walls being produced anywhere now, do I? Is that is that the case? Is that the case? Wow. All right. Let's uh, let's get this. We might as well get this guy going ahead. Um. I, I, yes, I know. I know. I said we were going to finish, but you know, filter, uh, filter walls off to the left. Sure. And we might as well get some grenades here as well because they're also handy to have in boxes uh, we need boxes oh my god probably need steel boxes too steel boxes are the better option at this point and there we go all right 
Give me, uh, you know, give me a stack of walls and give me one stack of them. Let's just put that stack in there. Uh, and there you go. All right. Okay. Oh, yes. The other thing we got, we got miners. Uh, we can have power poles for the miners. We need lights. We need lights. Where am I making lights? Am I not making lights anywhere? I thought I automated lights. Surely I automated lights. I did not. So let's uh, let's just make a stack of lights. And I think uh, someone will probably notify me if I've forgotten anything, but we'll, we'll figure it out next episode anyway. Uh, we kind of have everything we need. We're going to get there. We've got the power to get there. We've got the train trucks to get there. We've got the signals for the trains. We've got the trains themselves. We don't have any pump jacks. Um, yes, pump jacks we definitely will need. Uh, and we are out of iron again. All right. Let's make as many pump jacks as we can, uh, which at this point is six because we're out of steel. Luckily, we've got oodles of steel. Um, we do not have all oodles of steel, of course, but we have a little bit of steel. It doesn't take that much steel to make pump jacks. Uh, that's 15 pump jacks. We can actually count these over here if we wanted to. 3, 6, 9, 12. That, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. All right. Uh, pump jacks. We're going to need so much pipe. Oh, man. So many things just to get ready. Uh, and I really need to put it in now. Uh, pipe and underground pipe. Uh, pipe and underground pipe. Where can we Where can we squeeze this in? We're running out of space. We are definitely running out of space. I mean... We're not running out of space, are we? Because I can I can do something even dodgier than we've done before. Even dodgier than we've done before. We can build on the inside of the bus here, which is oh man. Oh man, we're uh, we're grasping at straws, aren't we? There we go. Alright, let's do something. We're out of boxes. It's always something. Uh sorry, pump jacks. Give me uh give me some boxes and then Get me, we only need 12 pump jacks, so I can actually fix that problem that we have there. Let's do this. Let's do this as regular pipe. Uh, regular pipe, please. Regular pipe. And undergrounds. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. That's got everything you need. It does. And let's speed this up just a wee bit. There we go. All right, uh, let's have two stacks of regular pipes and two stacks of that. Probably only one stack of regular pipe, honestly. Uh, regular pipe is just to get in the bits and pieces. This is what we'll be using a majority of. Uh, so even, yeah, yeah, two stacks will be fine. Okay, uh, this is going to take a while to uh, to build up. This is going to take a while to build up. We'll need to grab all of that. We'll need to grab uh, some more splitters and definitely probably all the undergrounds. Man, uh, I'm just like... There's so many things, so many things that we need, so many things that we need. How are we going for power poles? That's that's nice. Uh, that is also nice. Yeah, look at that. We, I'm feeling, I'm feeling prepared. We ran a little bit over time, but next episode we will be making that expansion. Well, we will be moving over there. We still have to clear out the biters and then build everything. It's it's actually going to take a while. We're probably going to do some blueprints for our rails as well. Oh man, maybe even next episode we won't get out there. Uh, we'll we'll be starting to move out there. We need to think about where we want train stations. Probably going to put train station over here as our main thoroughfare. We're going to need, my goodness, we're going to need explosives. Ha! So many things, so many things, and uh, look. It, this is what it's all about. We just keep focusing on the next thing and it puts more strain on our resources. As you can see already, the iron is struggling with what we've just put in and so on and so forth. But that is that is Factorio and that is why we love it. And that's why I love it, certainly. I hope you're loving this too. I hope you're loving the series. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. Your support means a whole lot to me. It keeps me going uh, when I'm not feeling like recording sometimes. Just like, I've got to do it for the patrons. Anyway, with that in mind, I will catch everyone next time.